Hey, you little drumheads. I'm Lucky Lara. This is episode two in a series that, if viewed sequentially, will make you a better drummer. This episode's about musicality and drumsticks. We're going to go halfway around the world to a drum clinic in Singapore to hear what a friend named Brandon said when a student asked, what makes a good drummer? A good drummer doesn't mean you have to play something that complicated. Now imagine if I was a Ringo. The most important thing in playing music is the song. So your job as a musician, you play to what the music requires. What separates a good drummer from a bad drummer is how they approach the music. Thanks, Brandon. That says a lot about playing tastefully. Now let's talk about drumsticks. I use Lucky Lair's signature speed stick by a head. Here's our head speed stick girl. There's all kinds of information online. I'm going to make my episodes very personal. This is exactly what I do. Where do I strike the drum head? I strike in the center of the head, and I hold my drumsticks in what I call V positioning. The sticks against the drum head are set like this. The drumstick is also part of the instrument. The instrument is the drum head, the shells of the drums, but the stick also resonates and makes sound. Know what part of the stick you're using depending on the sound you want to produce. For example, if I'm playing jazz, I may want to use the beat of the stick. If I'm playing Latin, I may want to use the shoulder of the drumstick on the bell of the cymbal. When I'm playing rock, I'm looking to hit at the bottom of the stick, hitting rim shots. drum tips from Lucky Lehrer, make sure to check out luckylehrer.com or definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel.